Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got introduced to the next promotion we are gonna be getting in FIFA Ultimate Team today via a loading screen as you log into FIFA Ultimate Team. We're gonna talk about that promotion today, the upcoming promotion of Headliners. Now there's a lot to talk about with this loading screen, the upgrade, the four, and then there's like four W's that are, that are cheeky, kind of hiding in the, in the design. And a lot of people have questions about what that loading screen does mean. Uh, but basically, what we know now is we're getting the headliner promo. This is a promo that came out at the beginning of February last year on FIFA. And we're going to go back and take a look at last year's promo and talk about what could be coming for this year's promo, talk about a few players we could see, and even some of the market movements that we saw with this promotion that coming out as well. So again, if you weren't around last year for the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Headliners promo. Basically what this is, it's like a, it's like ones to watch basically, which is, this is really interesting timing by EA putting out this promo because we're, we would usually have winter ones to watch at the end of this kind of time period as well. The winter ones to watch is, you know, kind of the end of the, the transfer window, which is January, which is right now it's January 15th. So that transfer window is kind of halfway over. But anyways, we are getting the Foot 19 Headliners promo. Uh, and last year was brand new. We had never gotten it before. But I believe this was a promo that they had done on FIFA Mobile before. And what we saw last year was a lot of the FIFA Mobile promos started to come over to Foot. Like we saw uh, Headliners and Carnival. Those were Foot Mobile promos and they came over to FIFA Ultimate Team. So basically what this promo is though is uh, these new players come out. It's, an, it's a... Um, it's a pack-based promo to start off with. There's new players in packs, and they get an inform upgrade over their highest-rated or other highest-rated inform card. Uh, and then that card, basically the head headliner version, this is the team from last year. That headliner version stays one upgrade ahead of whatever special card that um, that player may get. So, like Lala last year, uh, he had an 86-rated inform. So I think that when he got his 87 rated inform, this card went to an 88 rated or something like that. That's basically the premise with these cards. This card, this headliner card, will be one rating higher than any of the other special cards that these guys have. So there's there's some specific rules with these cards and like who's going to get in and stuff. But basically think of it this way. These cards are going to be only upgrade by a performance-based inform. So a team of the week, man of the match, hero, record breaker or team of the group stage item so nothing that's like uh um just a like team of the year would not upgrade these cards like team of the season i mean since that's coming down the road that would not upgrade these cards just it has to be a performance based um inform or special card that they would get to upgrade this headliners card so i want to look at the player selection next because last year we had some pretty insane player selection they chose a lot of big name players and that's kind of the juice of this promo right they want the players that have been playing well that have gotten multiple informs throughout the year to have more chances to get more just more hype and more new cards in the game and uh, more packs that people can open so that ea can make money that's kind of the premise of this promo but it's cool right it is kind of cool that we have cards that are going to be an upgrade above what that certain card may be. And these cards are really fun to trade with. They were also, they lost a lot of people at coins last year at the beginning of the season. But again, read if you read some of these um, dialogues here on why these cards got chosen, you can kind of start to formulate a plan and think about what kind of players could be in as a part of this promo. So let's look at, uh, let's look at Pogba first. This is Pogba's reasoning. And th this is one of the ones that just kind of tells me that EA just wanted to throw this guy in there to sell packs kind of thing. Paul Pogba's uh, reasoning for getting into FIFA 19 headliners is he's been on a tear since the managerial change, scoring six and assisting four. Assisting four. That's all that Pogba has. Look at Man United's other player in this promo, Marcus Rashford. Lauded by the new United boss for playing best the best football in his career, Rashford's global term has improved dramatically under the um, tutelage of the babyface assassin. And then you have a lot of other guys in here. The, like, look at the defenders. This is the thing I find most most amazing out of this. The defenders in here the versatile defender lucas hernandez continues to go strength to strength throughout 2020 uh integral part of the atletico defensive unit who league lead la liga for clean sheets so a lot of this stuff again is just based on real life performance how many informs the card already has like last year kenny lala had a bunch of informs pepe had a bunch of informs i think sane had a couple informs as well and werner always has a lot of informs 
Actually, I think Summer did too. So basically, it's the players that have gotten informs already in this game are going to get upgraded again with these headliner cards. And they're going to choose guys from big clubs, from uh, popular nationalities, popular leagues, and stuff like that. As you can tell, a lot of these teams that are in here are, were probably in the top side of the table, like top four or five in their respective leagues. So if you want a good idea of what kind of cards are going to get in, you know, maybe maybe somebody from Mucin Gladbach gets in again. I would be very shocked if somebody from Leipzig would not get in since they're ahead of the Bundesliga table right now. I would also expect somebody from Leicester and Chelsea to get in because they're in the top four at the moment. Uh, maybe Atletico again, maybe Sevilla again. But yeah, I would expect a lot of these top table teams, you know, EA makes money when they put players from the top teams in packs because people want to use those players from their favorite teams in Ultimate Team. So expect big names, expect um, decently sized upgrades as well. And last year, here's some more information that I want to talk about this. Watch out for three headliner SBCs and objectives throughout the course of the event. We'll look at those and what those were last year in a second as well. Some other frequently asked questions, and this kind of help us decide and look at what players could get into this promo. These questions right here. FIFA 19 headliners are a curated selection of players who are an exceptional run of form. Uh, in addition to qualify to be a foot 19 headliner, the player must have at least one performance-based end form and must not have an existing dynamic item. So a team of the year, a base item, uh, 90 rated or above, or an existing dynamic item, which this means right here, like a, a road to the final or a ones to watch. So anybody who is in road to the final, ones to watch, team of the year, or has a base card rating of 90 or above cannot get in as a headliner card into this promo. And I think that makes it really, really interesting because of some of the upgrades and some of the boosts that they're going to have and some of the people that could get in to this promo. Are the foot 19 headliners dynamic items? They, yes, they are dynamic items. They get upgraded if a player earns a qualified inform throughout the rest of the season. And the the upgrade, again, as I said, will stay one rating ahead or one inform rating ahead of his highest rated inform. Um, and yeah, the, the dynamic images will get will stay the same according to this. So and the positions won't change as well. So it's basically basically what this promo is. Again, it's like a second go around of ones to watch with like instead of transferred players, it's like beast players that have been playing insanely well this year IRL. So again, this incorporates in real life and FIFA which is cool. And last year they had some very great player selection during this promo. So I also want to go and take a look at the SBCs that we got during this promo last year, because it was very important. And then we'll go on to talking more about the market stuff to finish off the video. But last year we had the foot 19 headliners challenge. We were basically getting a pack every day that people could go and do an SBC for basically what we now call pack supply SBCs. We were getting one of those each day. Uh, we got a flashback Banes. We got a an Icon Stoichkov um, that was actually, he expired in this time. He didn't come out. But the SBCs that we got last year for players, um, I think one of them was an objective, and I forget who the objective was, but we did get two SBC players. We got Marco Arnautovic, who ended up not getting any more informs throughout the year, and we also got Danny Carvajal as a headliner SBC. So I think we got two SBCs and one objective, and I forget who the objective was. But we also got a player pick upgrade SBCs, um, I remember trying to pack one of these last year, could not get one for the life of me, um, but we did get, uh, it, it was a usual EA promo, right? Some SBCs, some objectives, and stuff like that, and there were a lot of market movements that happened with these cards last year as well. So again, Lewandowski, Timo Werner, Adama Traore, uh, these are all cards that I think have the possibility to get in to a possible headliners promo of this year. I think it's very, very possible that some of these guys get in um, because I'm just interested to see what, uh, just what kind of cards EA puts in. Now, I think these are these are very good options. These are very solid options. And if you want to look into more of what kind of cards could get in, again, basically all you have to do is go over here to the team of the week page on Footbin, scroll through the team of the weeks, and look at what cards have gotten multiple informs or multiple special cards this year, don't have a ones to watch or a road to the final, and have um, and have basically have had a good year and don't have a team of the year as well. That's basically all you have to kind of look for with these cards. Like Raja 9 Golan, he's got two informs. Could he possibly get in? Yeah, he possibly could get in. Uh, Quincy Promes possibly could get in. Never mind, he has ones to watch. Disregard that. Um, you know, there's plenty of guys in here. They could very easily get one of these cards. Um, 
and get into headliners. It's, it's honestly cool that we have such a wide range of players that can get in here. But again, I feel like there has to be one Liverpool player that gets in, right? Because Liverpool players are some part of every single promo that we have. There's always Liverpool players. We just came out of team of the season with a bunch of Liverpool players. And Salah cannot get in because his base card is a 90 rated, right? Pretty sure Salah's base card rating is 90 rated if I'm if I'm correct. Let me check on Footbin to make sure it is. Salah's base card is 90 rated, so he cannot get in. Mane can't get in. Uh, none of the defense basically can get in except for a Joe Gomez or a Matip. And none of the, not really any of the other guys except for Fabinho and Genie Wijnaldum have informs. So it's either Fabinho, it's either Genie Wijnaldum, or it's Roberto Firmino. And I think that they might just go ahead and give Roberto Firmino one of these cards. It would be interesting if it was not him, because I would think it'd be Wijnaldum or Fabinho. But I think Fabinho or Firmino could get himself a headliners card. You know, it's talking about again, Hyunmin Son had one last year. Could he get one again this year? I already pointed out Timo Werner could possibly get one, but I think Hyunmin Son has the possibility of getting himself one as well. Of course, his base card rating is 87, uh, but he has a few informs. No, he has a road to the final man. Gosh, dang it. Son will not be getting one of these, but Timo Werner still could because he doesn't have any live items. This is See, it's kind of fun figuring out who these cards could be and who some of these players could be that get into this promotion. Honestly, it really is kind of interesting to see what stuff could be happening with this promo. But again, look through some of the old team of the weeks, look through some of these cards, Theo Hernandez coming to mind. That's somebody that I think people are eyeing as a possible player to get into this promo. He's got two informs already from left back at Milan, uh, which, you know, two informs for a left back is a decent amount. We've already got a lot of French back left backs in this game with like a uh, uh, footmas Rusillian. We've had Ferlan Mendy SBC for footmas. Um, and we've had plenty of other left backs that are French with like Digne uh, and guys like that. But getting another guy like Theo Hernandez, if we got a live item for him, I mean, he's about to crest 80 defending. He, he'll be probably 95 pace if he gets another inform boost. So this card moving up in the ranks, go to an 86. That'd be a pretty nice boost on a Theo Hernandez card. So look out for Theo Hernandez to get one. That could be something that's very interesting as well. But I want to go back and again, look at these players from foot 19, because these cars last year were very, very intriguing when the promotion first came out. A lot of people bought these cards right away because these cards, you, you know, we talk about it a lot. What really happens on the market and what you really notice first day is the pack weight on these cards. Last year, the pack weight on these cards was crazy. They were getting packed and packed and packed. They had a really, really high pack percentage. They were coming on the market like crazy. And it was a new promo. We didn't really know what was going on, except we knew these were live items, that the prices were way too cheap. So a lot of these cards got stupid low, but they just kept going lower. And that happened because of a couple of reasons. Again, first of all, these cards were super duper packable. They were getting packed left, right, and center. I mean, this Lala was on the market and he was, I forget the prices exactly, but you see first day, 460,000 coins and look how much he dropped during the week when he was in packs. Dropped all the way down to 316, finally came back up. So the pack weight was one problem, but the second problem was, and you guys will definitely remember this if you were somebody who played the game last year, um, you would go to search for one of these headliner cards, right? Let's, let's use Royce as our example. Let's use Royce as our example. We would search special Royce, right? We'll find his UCL, we'll find his Inform, and whatever other special cards that Royce has, uh, which would be his Team of the Year nominee is the only other one that he's got, right? Last year, when you would go to search one of these headliner cards for the first couple days, I forget how many days this went on or how long it went on, the headliner cards were not available to be searched under the special quality in foot. You could only find them under gold. And this was crazy because nobody could find them on the market, especially think about casuals trying to search the market for these cards. They could not find them. There was just way, way harder to find these cards and that caused their prices to drop. They were getting packed a bunch and nobody could figure out how to freaking buy them because they were not available to be bought under the special filter. So that caused their prices to drop because nobody knew what was going on. Nobody wanted to buy these cards because they couldn't find them. Uh, and it was a new promo and there was a lot of panic and, and packs being opened at the same time. So that was one thing that we learned last year. Always make sure that you can search the card on the market correctly before going out and um, 
and trying to buy that card as a investment or for a flip or something like that too. So we learned that last year, big time. That was a huge thing that we need to focus on and make sure it happens. So hopefully this year they can get that right for sure and make these headliner cards searchable through uh, correctly through the special card item on this game. Now, is this is that last year that the happening for these cards being packed so much and these cards not being able to be found on the market, is that gonna hurt them this year? It could a little bit, it might cause some people to be uh, le like a little bit more afraid of buying them right away, but you know, to the massive player base, um, to the casuals, that's not really gonna matter that much. Again, it's gonna be, there's a, there's a few position changes in here too, which I thought was interesting. Not a bunch, but just a few uh, position changes. So watch out for that when they do this as well. But these cards should be cards that a lot of people wanna have and try out in their squads. This last promo that we just went through, Team of the Year, I talked about it yesterday in my video, uh, the Rate the Promo Series, Episode 1. This promo, Team of the Year, is just not a promo that is friendly for the lower budget, the lower tier player, more of the casual player, like less than 500,000 coins player. That promo is not for you. But this type of promo definitely is for somebody with that kind of coin range because there's going to be players down there. There's going to be objectives, SBCs, daily um, supply, pack supplies, packs, SBCs coming out. So I think this promo will be a lot more accepted um, by the community as a whole because it should be able to cater more towards the entire audience of foot and not just kind of the upper tier like team of the year does but again i want to look at this loading screen for a second um, and talk about headliners again we have another three dimensional car design with uh kind of the splash of the card coming off the actual car design and that's the new thing that ea is doing now with these card designs is that they're they're adding that 3d element to them it's not just a 2d card now on the game like the team of the years we saw had the little gold like crest and an embling around the bottom. Uh, we have some more of that with this headliners card. And a lot of people are wondering about this up arrow and about this four. What does this four mean? Because I feel like if there wasn't going to be, if they were just going to show these cards are going to get boosted, why would they do a four? Maybe they're changing up headliners this year. Maybe they're giving them like a plus four in every stat boost or something like that. I don't. That's just me thinking. Also, the interesting thing is there's four random W's. You can kind of see them around here. There's one, there's two, there's three, and I don't know where the fourth one is, but there's four W's on this loading screen, which are very kind of peculiarly placed. We don't really know what those mean. And then I have a hunch, man. I kind of have a hunch that this might, you know, this might be ratings refresh. I know it might be a little bit too early for ratings refresh and when we've gotten that in the past, but maybe this has something to do with the ratings refreshed. I could be reading into that too much. Maybe it's just the whole point that uh, that these headliner cards are going to be getting nice boost. But uh, yeah, hopefully, and I think this is going to happen. I think we're going to get more loading screens. That's the new thing that EA has been doing. More loading screens every single day we get closer towards a promo or we get closer towards something coming out in the game, right? They did it with Team of the Year. Um, I think they're going to do it now with headliners as well. So watch out for another loading screen today on uh, Wednesday. Watch out for another loading screen in terms of stuff you could see with these cards and maybe something else that we can learn, right? There could be some pre-promo panic if we see a card on the loading screen. Like let's say Royce is gonna get in, just an example. Not, not sure if he's gonna get in or not. Let's say Royce is supposedly gonna get in. He was in last year, but we'll just use this as our example. You might wanna watch the panic selling on some of these informs, right? Because last year, especially for the SBC cards, that come out in FIFA. Again, it's just a great time to reinforce things that happen on this game, like panic selling, informs, and the differences between um, a new special card coming out and an old special card having a price that just gets too low, and that gap between the new card and the old card just getting to be too much so that the old card rises up to kind of, it rises back up after the panic sell. That happened last year with Danny Carvajal's card um, when his SBC came out, right? So Danny Carvajal, had an inform last year that was going for around 100,000 coins. It was an 80, maybe 86 or 87 rated inform Carvajal. And then Carvajal got the SBC, right? So we got the SBC. I think the SBC costed you like 120,000 coins. So a bunch of people that had this inform probably sold it and went out and did the SBC because it was not that much more expensive than his actual card was. This card dropped all the way down to like 60,000 coins. 
and then he rebounded back to 80 the week after the SBC went away. That's the type of stuff that I think you're going to see during this promo because, again, that budget. Um, well, a few things. Carvel Hall is one of the right backs in La Liga. There's not a ton of right backs that people use in La Liga, especially special cards. And we're at that point of the game where a lot of people like to use special cards. They have the coins for it in this game and stuff like that. So that is partially why uh, you saw the rebound on his card. But um, again, just the fact that he was a special card, he was out of packs. The SBC came, it dropped his card price down. And then his inform was technically the highest rated card on the market because that was an SBC headliner card that was no longer attainable when it went away. And then the inform skyrocketed back up because it had a lot of demand. Real Madrid, Spanish, La Liga. Again, so watch for panic selling during a promo like this because it should be a very prevalent thing that's going to happen. A lot of people have coins in this game right now. You're looking at my transfer targets and I've got a lot of icons because these guys are fluctuating and moving on the daily. I'm trying to trade a few of these this week before we head into another promo so I can get myself ready, get some more coins. And it's very obvious to see that people have those coins because these cards are fluctuating. Like, look at this, man. Somebody paid 143 for a Socrates today. This might have been fresh. And then an hour later, he went on bid for 133. It just shows you that people, when they want to buy a card, they will just go out and buy it. And that's also why icons are awesome. I could have got that Socrates at like maybe 133. The cheapest one he's got up on the market right now is 147. I could have made some decent profit if I know that he sells at 143. Could have made some decent profit on that card right there. Not a ton, just a decent amount, maybe like 30,000 coins ish or something like that. So, uh, again, with these future star promo coming out, there's coins in this game. People are going to try out these cards, and I think there's going to be panic selling on this market on cards as well. So, again, watch out for another loading screen today, okay? Watch out for another loading screen today. More information on this promo from EA. Again, this is when they put a loading screen out this early. They're trying to tell you something, man. They're trying to tell you something. They're trying to hype it up. They're trying to build the hype for another promo like this one. Headliners coming this week, boys. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you are as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>